cave. My mind is going. I can feel it. An elected official. Yeah, but we, we the people said no. Why are they still put, trying to push this through? These people aren't elected. That's unconstitutional. That's treason, sir. You understand that? Agenda 21, that's from the United Nations. That's what you're trying to push. Dan Bedondi, FanForWars.com, and we're in Providence, Rhode Island, where unelected officials have just taken it upon themselves to push through a draconian bill called Roadmap Rhode Island. And Roadmap Rhode Island is nothing more than the United Nations Agenda 21, and they did this without the approval of the elected officials or the registered voters. We have towns and communities that have land that will be impacted, property that will be impacted, and if you put large groups of Subsidize housing by God, who, by the way, get their money from the taxpayers. So, directly, we are paying for all of this, and our children will continue to pay for it. It feels like we're going to be sodomized for the rest of our lives <laughs> by big government, big brother. And if you take money from these people, you're going to be married to them for the rest of your life. And your community, our children, our life. Want to leave the state of Rhode Island because they want to live better. They don't want to have to live with mom. And Governor Chaffee, the numbers you quoted about unemployment, they don't take into account the people who have been unemployed for so long. They don't show up. I, I do not agree with the accusations. I can understand how people have been misled by things that have been said. And I think it's very unfortunate. And I think that the people who have started the, mis the misinformation should be held accountable as well. I will vote in support because I believe it's a good plan. This is your paycheck. I that believe. Is. No, it's not my paycheck. That I have is. zero job security just so they can know. I will vote for this plan because I think it's a good plan. It's just a plan. It doesn't rewrite the Constitution. It doesn't the laws. But it, um, it's something that I think will help Rhode Island move in a direction different from the one that you're unhappy with right now. Thank you. Treason! Thank you. Treason. Are there any other uh, members of the council that want oh, that? to uh, comment? We help the communities with HUD money. But does this money come with strings attached to it? this morning. But doesn't this money come with strings attached to it? Strings attached? As in what kind of development is uh, s subsidized or supported? You no, know, it was all local grown. Uh, when we went to East Natick or to uh those communities in Warrant that uh, were eligible for CDGB money, it was the neighbors that came and said, we want a sidewalk, we want better drainage. And that's what we did. But this plant, uh, in order to Oakland access Beach, some... East Natick, the property with roadmap right. RI, will this, Central will this plan require that communities adhere to HUD standards in order to take some of that money. Well, there's some standards. I mean, you, you can't waste the money. It has to be spent according to uh, wise uh, parameters. But you want like graft and, you know, there's some, there's some good government standards. But so there's there's about people eminent domain, Governor. Is there anything in this plan no, that says no, we're going to no. take people's Look, land? No. The Where's courts the have ruled on behalf of property taxpayers over and over again. Where's the vote uh, of the people? Private property, excuse me, on private property. Uh, Where's the vote of the people? Over so and over again. I know we've got dealt with zoning at the local level for many, many years. All the private property issues in the courts are very strong on protecting private property, as they continue, will continue to be. Are you surprised? the story about the, the handicap ramp at the ladies' house? I don't know. Yeah, Ohio. I don't know. I think, you don't I don't think know, that's bike ramp happen. went right in front of somebody's house. I suppose there's some, I don't want to refute, I think it's Mr. Stenhouse's story, to where, but it's, it seemed... Where's the vote uh, of the people on this thing? Not common to uh, what I've encountered here in Rhode Island. Are you surprised where's the vote of the people? The where's the constitutionality this? of this project, sir? Why isn't the people voting on this? Uh, I'm an elected official. Yeah, but we, we the people said no. Why are they still put, trying to push this through? These people aren't elected. That's unconstitutional. That's treason, sir. You understand yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agenda 21, that's from the United Nations. That's See. what you're trying to push. Are you surprised the at the vocal opposition to that? Uh, yes, because we've worked course, I, so well, hard to have then. public input over the last 18 months. A lot of outreach, uh, as you heard some testimony. I heard about it, I came out, I participated, I was welcomed immediately into the dialogue. Uh, so, uh, of course, we, they're here today, and that's good, 
expressing their opinion. So on we go. Governor, why do you think people are against this plan? There's some against it and some for it. I, I was very uh, happy to hear those that are expressing their opinions. There are a lot in favor. I'm sure if you were here, you heard those also. Is this not a violation of the Constitution, sir? Eight minute domain? Yeah, yes, it is, sir. Not. It's oh, treason. Be, uh, then there'd be lawyers taking us to court. No, this is treason, sir. Happening. This is Agenda 21 by the United Nations. We are onto this. Governor, are you ready? That's high treason, sir. That's a governor of Rhode Island, folks. Do they need to vote on it? Mm -mm. I don't think so, Kate. Uh, These people here are supporting want, high treason uh, against the Constitution of the United States. Private property rights are trying to distinct. No, no, of course not. Are there any members of the council at this time? Straight ahead, Governor. We the people, Governor, not we the officials. We the people. The Constitution comes for us. We will not comply with the road map Rhode Island. How are you an investigative reporter and challenging him about we the people? Because really this is pure world? unconstitutional here. What's unconstitutional though? Eminent domain. I mean, do you not There's know? There's nothing in the plan that takes, talks about eminent it, domain. There's a lot in the plan that talks about that. Playing to our strengths, which People is the read. opposite. Part that's a good thing. So I plan to uh, vote in favor of the plan. So with that, I'll take a motion um, to approve the plan. Mr. Flores, Marzan, you have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to adopt the state of Rhode Island draft road map. Rhode Island Economic Development Plan. Let's move into the future. Motion's been made. Is there a second on the motion? Director Lewis seconds the motion to approve the plan. Is there any further discussion from the council at this time? Hearing none, I will call the roll. And Rhode Island has just witnessed today the birth of Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is the action plan to destroy your sovereignty, and that is your personal sovereignty and your national sovereignty. This is the green mask, the environmental mask, because if you are terrified that you're killing the planet, you will be willing to accept any restriction. Hold on, you understand, we are not gonna comply by rule now. We will not comply, all right? It's called 1776. This man's really an anti-free. No, I'm just doing my job. Yeah, yeah, what the crowd's gonna say whatever you want. How's it feel to buy on Agenda 21 by the UN? No comment. You should wear a Nazi repel next time you come into the Because all you support a communist Nazi agenda 21. We don't trust the government. We're, we're tired. Well, here's one that just sold us out right here. Well, Mr. Comet, how you sold the Oh, and well, I tell you what, you're not representing all of the uh, women out. You're not representing all of the voters in your area. Because I tell you what, when you get up and you say you represent the people in South Kingstown, you don't hit again when the pensions of of the old people. I'm 77, my brother is 73. When you go in and because of a puddle, HUD wants to, HUD wants to come in in a puddle or standing water for 40 days or a pond. They need that pond. You've got a lot to learn. And I tell you what, I'm going to be there to teach you. My book, Behind the Green Mask, is a great way to educate yourself. You want to give this information to your legislators. Let them know about this if they don't know. And if they aren't willing to refuse to go along with the federal grants, with the plans, with the projects, then take them out. Remove them from office and do this locally.